Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this guide, I will show you how to fix Gigabyte Control Center not opening or freezing using quick updated methods. Now method one is we're going to run the app as administrator. We're going to just right click on the Gigabyte Control Center shortcut right here. And then from there, we're just going to click on run as administrator. And then we're just going to confirm by clicking on yes right here. This fixes provision issues that often stop the app from launching. Now, method two is we're going to actually update or reinstall. So we're just going to head over. Hold on, let me just close that window. And then we're going to head over to apps or the settings first. And then from there, we're going to click on apps. And then from there, we're just going to click on apps and features. Now, once we're in this page, we're going to scroll down until we find Gigabyte Control Center and then the GBT RGB Sync Control. So we're going to make sure that we uninstall both of these we're just going to click on each and then we're going to click on uninstall and then just click on uninstall once again to confirm the decision now after that you're going to um, visit the official gigabyte support page and download the latest version of gcc for your motherboard model and then reinstall and restart your computer so this will um, update or reinstall the gigabyte control center which will or might fix the problems now method three is we can also enable required services so in order for us to do that, we're just going to click on Windows plus the R button. And then from there, we're going to type in services.msc. And then we're going to click on Enter. Now, once we have pressed on enter, we're going to look for gigabyte control service or similar entries right here. So you can see all of these right there. We're going to scroll down until we find the first um, gigabyte. So if you can find it, you're going to have to... Um, Make sure that if it is disabled, you're going to right click and then click on properties. So for example, this is it. We're going to right click on that and then we're just going to click on properties. And then from there, we're going to click on a startup type right here. And then you're going to make sure that this is set to automatic. Now, once it's done, you're just going to click on OK and then apply. Now, method four we can also check for windows and driver updates so make sure that you run windows update to ensure compatibility and then also install the latest chipset and bios updates from gigabyte site and that's it that is how you can fix gigabyte control center not opening properly thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video